Hey guys, it's Sabrina. So today I have a huge book haul, like 20 plus books for you guys. Um, these are all the books that I've gotten in the last week to a week and a half. Um, I apologize for not putting up more videos. I actually have been really sick. I don't know if you can tell from my voice, but I am getting over a virus or a cold or something. I'm actually home from work sick. Um, and I wanted to be productive, so I decided that I would film this. Um, if you hear any background noises, it's just my puppy running around. She normally stays in her crate, um, but she gets to run out with me today since I'm home. Um, so I apologize if you can't understand me or my pronunciations. Um, and I'm just going to try to get through this very quickly. Um, I'm not going to really go too much into depth about what these books are about. You can find any of the information on these books on Goodreads. So the first book that I got is Phoenix and this is by Elizabeth Richards and this is the sequel to Black City. Um, this is just a dystopian novel. Um, I really love the cover. I think it's a beautiful color. This is a really nice orange. Um, and I read Black City a while ago so I want to reread that and then get started on Phoenix. I'm excited for it. The next book I picked up I'm really excited about, and this is Siege and Storm by Leigh Bardugo. And this is the sequel to Shadow and Bone. <clears throat> um, this is a really nice fantasy novel. I haven't read Shadow and Bone because I wanted to wait for Siege and Storm to come out, but now I'm going to go ahead and read these two. Um, this has a gorgeous red cover, and there is a map inside, which I love maps inside of fantasy books. It's like it's not a real fantasy book unless it has maps. Um, Alright, next book I have... I'm not sure which one is which. I think this is the first one. Is this the first one? Well, this is called The Vicious Deep, and this is by Zoreta Cordavo. I have no clue how to say that. Um, I think this is... Yeah, this one came out in 2012, and then I picked up the sequel, which is called The Savage Blue, um, and this just came out um, recently, yeah, and I've heard really good things about these books, um, about The Vicious Deep. It is based on um, mermaids, but I've heard that it's actually a really good mermaid book. Um, Missy from The Book Rat really enjoyed this book, so definitely check it out if you like mermaid fantasy. And I think that the covers are really pretty. Let's see what's under the dust jacket. Alright, it's a really nice blue. I love pretty covers. I'm like a sucker for pretty covers. I don't know about you. And this one's a darker blue. But still blue. Also, please excuse my bookshelves in the back. If you can see, I have stacks on stacks. Um, I need to get another bookshelf because I don't use the one that I have in my bedroom for my books anymore because um, it was just getting too heavy and I was afraid it was going to fall over. So um, I do need to get a new bookshelf because I don't like how they're stacked back there. The next one is The Rules for Disappearing and this is by Ashley Elston. I think that's how you say it. Um, I've heard some good things about this. This just came out a few weeks ago. I love this cover. It's a nice green with a white on the end. And this is a girl who's in the Witness Protection Program. Um, she's been six different people in six different places. So I think that's pretty interesting. And I think she falls in love with someone in one of the places that she is. Okay, next book I've heard amazing, amazing things about. And that is Insignia by S.J. Kincaid. And this book's sequel is coming out in July, I want to say. So I decided to pick this up, and I will wait to get the sequel probably to read it, but I've heard nothing but amazing things about this, um, so I'm really excited to read it. And it has a little blurb from Veronica Roth on the back, so that's always good. And it just looks like this. Really nice cover. <clears throat> Sorry, it's like straining me to talk. I know I sound like a man. I apologize. You know, I tried, like, doing my makeup. I'm like, oh, I don't have to do my hair or get on my pajamas as long as I have some highlighter on. So that was my thought process behind that. The next book I have is Defiance, and that is by S.J. S. Redwine. And I've heard some pretty good things about this one, too. 
I've heard mixed things, but for the most part, I've heard pretty good things. Um, the sequel to this, I think is what is it called? Deception, maybe? Um, that comes out in a few months. And these are just fantasy novels. Um, trained by her father to be a warrior, tempted by the boy she cannot have, branded by her leader as a rebel. Plunged into a world of danger and deception, Rachel must risk everything. The fate of her world depends on it. And, yeah, I've just heard pretty good things about this. Like I said, the sequel comes out in a little while at the end of this year, so I wanted to check it out. The next book I have is <clears throat> Born Wicked by Jessica Spotswood, and this is the Cahill Witch Chronicles book one. The second book comes out today, actually, um, Tuesday the 18th, and it's called Starstruck, I want to say. Um, but th these books are about witches, um... <clears throat> so I haven't really read too many things about witches, so I figured I would definitely check it out. The next book I have is Dare You To <clears throat> by Katie McGarry. And I have this on ebook that I was sent from the publisher, but I enjoyed it so much that I went ahead and picked it up. This is the sequel to Pushing the Limits. Um, and I definitely have to get my review up on that. I, <clears throat> excuse me. Wanted to put up um like a review a day this week, but I have literally been so sick um that I just couldn't get around to it. And Harper, my puppy, has been sick, and she actually went to a family party with my husband and I this weekend <clears throat> and ripped up the bottom of her paw, all four of her paws, so she couldn't walk for like two or three days, and we had to like carry her around everywhere, and she wasn't sleeping, so I wasn't sleeping, and I think that's how I got sick as my immune system was down. So guys, I really do apologize, but I promise you, as soon as I start feeling better, and I don't sound like a man, I will be putting up reviews of um, a whole bunch of books, like six, seven, eight of them. The next books that I have are a trilogy, and I'm really excited for this trilogy. I've heard nothing but amazing things about it, and I have no clue why it took me so long to pick them up. That is A Knife of Letting, Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness. The Ask and the Answer, and Monsters of Men. And this is the Chaos Walking Trilogy. So this is book one, and I'm just really excited to hear it. I know that you can, like, everyone can hear their thoughts, and this is about um, the main character's name is Todd and his dog. Um, and he can hear his dog's thoughts, too. And they must run for their lives. So I think that's about their journey I haven't read these yet, like I said, but this is pretty creepy. Um, I've heard amazing things about these this trilogy, like every single book in here. I've heard amazing things about. Um, they're pretty thick, especially the last one. But I really want to get through these this year. Um, these are probably going to be like a fall read, but I'm really excited for them. The next book I have is, well... I have Glow, a Sky Chasers novel, book number one by Amy Kathleen Ryan, and then I went ahead and picked up the sequel, and I thought that I bought the paperback version of this, but I bought the hardcover, so I have a paperback and a hardcover, which really irks me, but you know, I should just be happy that I can afford to have both of them, um, and maybe one day I'll give this one away or something and get the... Um, paperback or vice versa but I think that the covers were different on um, the hardcover of the first one and then they changed them but anyway there's that and I believe these are science fiction novels um attack the destroyed the only world you knew who'll be brave enough to save who was left who will love whose love will be strong enough to survive the fight either way there's no turning back so yeah I haven't read sci-fi in a while, so I'm kind of looking forward to that. The next one I've heard great things about, and this is Ashfall, and this is by Mike Mullen. This is like a dystopian. I know this takes place with the Yellowstone National Park and the hot spring and spraying geysers, and I guess that they erupt and kind of take over and volcanic ash and bad things happen. I've heard really, really good things about this, so I went ahead and picked up the sequel. Oh, this is really heavy. Um, 
This is Ash and Winter by Mike Mullen. And they redid the cover, so the paperback of the first one matches the hardcover of the second one. But I didn't want to wait for this to come out in paperback because I've heard so many good things. And I mean, I like this cover. This is a really gorgeous cover. But, you know, they don't match. But I guess I'm just going to have to get over that now, aren't I? Um, but I've heard really good things about Ashfall. Um, and I'm pretty sure... Who was it? Maybe it was Amber Pepper. I don't know. I think it was her that um, had a really good review on it on Goodreads. Um, but that's where I check all of my books when I'm going to purchase them. Unless, like, I know for sure 100%, like, this is the book that I want. I don't care what anyone says. 99.9% um, .9 of the time I do check Goodreads because I trust my people. Okay, the next four books that I have are paperbacks. Um, and I don't really buy a lot of paperbacks, but um, I decided that I would rather read, like, summer reads in paperbacks. Um, I just like them better because, I don't know, when you're, like, out and about, you just don't want something that's heavy in your bag. And I just like paperbacks for summertime. So I got two really cute reads, and I just dropped one. My bad. The first one is When in Doubt, Add Butter. And this is by Beth Harbison. Harbison? And this says, Finding the recipe for true love isn't always easy. And I just really love this cover. It's a really nice canary yellow with, like, these different cupcakes on the bottom. It looks delicious. Um, and this is an adult novel, and I kind of wanted to branch out into an adult novel. And I love the little cupcake on the spine. I just loved the font, I loved the colors, I, I just, the cover is what really drew me in, but the story is really cute too, um, it's about, I think her name is Gemma, um, it's just kind of about like her bad dating life, and she decides to be, you know, she's working as a private chef, and she has five clients, um, I think it follows two people, three people. It follows a few different um, characters in here, I want to say. But I actually like that. Maybe they might all be friends. I'm not sure. I don't really know too much about this. Um, but I think that it's really cute. The next book I got is called Back in the Game by Holly Chamberlain. And what really drew me in was they were by the beach. So I'm like, oh, this is a perfect beach read. Um, but this is about a woman who knows that her marriage is ending, um, and it ended, her divorce is finalized, and she has to adjust to being single, which she hasn't been in a while, and she just has to learn how to get back in the game. Um, I mean, this was $9.95, I couldn't pass it up, and how much was this other one? And this says $14.99 on the back, but I think I paid $12.99. Um, I just, I just liked the cover with this one as well, um, and I just thought it would be a nice summer read. So, I like stories about women who are empowered and they, you know, have to get back out there and pick themselves up again. The next book I got is World War Z, An Oral History of the Zombie War by Max Brooks, the author of The Zombie Survival Guide. And it says, now a major motion picture, and I'm pretty sure this is the movie tie-in cover, which I actually liked this cover better than what the other one was. Um, <clears throat> but I know Brad Pitt is directing or producing and also starring in this movie, and I'm pretty sure Paramount Pictures is putting it on. Um... But I just thought it was interesting, and I'm not really even too sure what it's about. It just, the movie looked really good on TV, the one I saw the commercial for it. So, I know it says we've survived the zombie apocalypse, but now many of us are still haunted, haunted by that terrible time. So, it just kind of goes into, it says, told in the haunting and riveted voices of men and women who witnessed the horror firsthand. So, it's the record you know, of people's stories, which I think is really cool. The only thing is the font is so small. And the last book I'm kind of excited about, and this is Wool by Hugh Howey. And um, this has all of the books in one. Um, Wool first started out as like a 50-page novella, you know, like a short story, I mean. Um, but 
Then it got so popular that the fans asked for more and he made a whole bunch of them. And this is all of them like wrapped up in one book. <clears throat> um, they're in different parts. Like it says, part four, part four, the unraveling. Um, and if you look in the front, it tells you like the different parts and like what the titles are. So those are like the different books. Like this is part one. Um, <clears throat> it's been blurbed by some pretty awesome authors. Um, with Wool, Hugh Howey has created a new science fiction classic. Ernest Cline, the author of Ready Player One. Secrets unfold with just the right pacing. If you're looking for a great post-apocalyptic read, you can't do much better than Wool. And that's from Rick Riordan. The best-selling author of Percy Jackson and the Olympian series. Um, and there's a whole bunch of other authors that blurbed it. The Huffington Post. That kind of stuff. Um, but I really like this cover. And it kind of just opens up like that. It's quite a lengthy paperback. It's over 500 pages, I think. Um, but this is another adult novel. And it's kind of like an adult's take on dystopian and that kind of stuff. So I figured it would be pretty cool. And the cover is really pretty. So yeah, um, this one was $15, um, which I know is kind of a lot for a paperback, but I really liked it. It's the nice material paperback, and I've heard really good things about this, so I definitely wanted to check it out. All right, guys, that is all I have for right now. Um, thank you guys so much for being patient with me and for bearing with my voice and my looks today. I really appreciate it and I love everybody. If you have read any of these books, please let me know down below. And if you'd like to see a review on any of these, again, let me know down below. Bye, guys.